Foreign ministers of a regional group led by China and Russia are in Uzbekistan's capital, Tashkent, for the annual Shanghai Cooperation Organization, or SCO. The grouping comprises eight members of states, including India, Pakistan and several Central Asian states. It aims to promote cooperation in politics, trade and the economy, as well as maintain security and stability in the region. Some analysts, however, say Beijing and Moscow are trying to use the SEO to counter US-led alliances. Ishan Garg joins us live with more from New Delhi. Ishan, uh, first, what's been the latest out of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting? Well, the delegates, uh, the foreign ministry officials of uh, different nations have reached Tashkent and there's going to be a dinner uh, early uh, evening and then the meetings will start. Uh, but the precursor to the uh, talks has been an, uh, a, a conference on the situation in Afghanistan, which sort of sets the stage of what uh, this meeting is going to be all about. They are going to discuss various regional challenges, various uh, regional opportunities, and they're going to review regional cooperation as well. And several Analysts have said that from India's side, one of the biggest things that Mr. S. Jai Shankar, India's foreign minister, is going to be discussing is our potential arms deals and defense deals with uh, different Central Asian nations. Uh, so there's a lot on the agenda. And what uh, this meeting also going to do is to set the stage for another meeting in September, which will be attended by the heads of state of uh, these nations. So this is more of a precursor to that bigger meeting coming. But this is going to be crucial because uh, not only are these nations going to be discussing at a round table, but there's also the likelihood of uh, several bilateral uh, talks, uh, uh, for example, between India and China, and also between India and Pakistan. So a, a lot depends on this meetings, uh, and, and several uh, outcomes are likely once the meeting uh, ends. Yeah, we'll talk a bit more about those meetings, uh, because India, uh, as we know, will be taking over the chair of uh, the regional group next year. Uh, how will that affect one, the group's dynamics, and secondly, how will it shape India's role amidst those bilateral issues involving China, Russia and Pakistan? Well, India's uh, position uh, as far as its allies are concerned and its neighbors are concerned is a really precarious one because on one hand, India is trying to be closer to the United States of America, uh, but at the same time, it's also uh, being very close to Russia. Uh, on one hand, it's trying to maintain a, a relationship with Pakistan and uh, uh, on the same, uh, on, on, on another hand, it's got problems with China on its uh, northern borders. And amidst all of this, it's going to head uh, the meeting from uh, the next year onwards. Uh, but it's highly unlikely that that will complicate the situation as far as this multilateral institution is concerned, uh, because India does share uh, uh, similar platforms with two key, uh, uh, two key countries in its neighborhood, Russia and China. It shares the BRICS platform with them. And uh, we have seen in the past that there haven't been any problems on that uh, front. Uh, but it, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that uh, relationship unfolds going forward. Shengag reporting live from New Delhi. Thank you.